we are going to do a braised bear round steak, except we're not using bear, we're using antelope because I don't have any bear. Flavor bomb is absolutely loaded. Hey, what's up everybody? Greg Ray here with Outdoor Solutions and from fieldtotable.com. It has been a minute since we've done these. Eddie and I are actually back in town and have a little time to do a recipe. We are going to do a braised bear round steak, except we're not using bear, we're using antelope because I don't have any bear. So anyways, we've already done some of the prep work for you. Uh, we used a top round that I've already cleaned all the silver skin off. I've butterflied it. And we used the jacquard on it. And then we've chopped some onions, some mushrooms. Uh, we've got some other ingredients that we're going to use uh, once we get over to the skillet. And then uh, we're gonna start doing some seasoning. I've got a uh, spice blend. I will tell you this uh, at the beginning, the entire recipe is on from filledtotable.com, but to make it easy on you, because that's the kind of guy I am, the link will be down in the uh, in the description uh, here of the video. So I've also prepared a uh, spice blend, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, a little bit of cayenne, and just a tiny bit of uh, nutmeg. All right, I've got them all finished, seasoned up, and we're gonna start dredging them here in the flour, and that dredging is just gonna be a, a light coat on either side. You can see I've got my wire rack here, and so we're just gonna set them on those. And then once I get all of these uh, dredged in the flour, we're gonna take them over there to the cast iron, which is being heated up with bacon grease in it. I cooked some bacon, as you can see right here, uh, and that's what we're the fat that we're going to use uh, to brown these in. So dredging is just getting a light coat on there. You can actually shake the excess off, not excess, excess. You can actually shake the excess off and Whenever you put it in the hot grease, you'll get a, uh, a nice brown coat on it. And that's all we're gonna do when we take it over to uh, the hot grease, which we're gonna do right now. So let's cruise on over. We're not cooking these, we're just browning. And then they're gonna get stacked back over here on the wire rack, not on top of each other. You want them separated. Then my other ingredients, my liquids are going back into the cast iron. We'll deglaze the pan. The steaks will go back in, then in the oven, 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. We've, uh, we've got these all brown. I've got them back on the rack. They're just cooling. You can st still see that the pan is plenty hot. I've got my cup of onions going to go in there and a quart of the mushrooms going in there. Oop, good. One soldier here, and we're just going to soften these up, let the onions get translucent, and then uh, we'll add the liquids in, which will be the gravy and some tomatoes, and what else? Oh, and the uh, cooking wine, sherry. Man, we are rolling now. These actually look really good. Some mushrooms and the onions cooked in the bacon fat. We're going to deglaze the pan and add in some of the wine. We actually used a cooking sherry because that was all I had. That's going in. A bay leaf is going in and then half a can of diced tomatoes goes in as well. And then the gravy. So here's something that uh, sometimes we get a little crap about. This is Heinz out of the jar gravy. You can make your own if you want to, but if you're like us, you're busy. You know, and you just, sometimes you just don't have time to, or maybe you just don't want to. That's where I'm at. I just didn't want to. Heinz does a good enough job in a recipe like this. One thing I don't know if I mentioned, braising. 
using two different techniques. One is a dry technique, which is what we used in the skillet to brown them on the outside, and then using liquid to finish it off with, which is a longer, slower process. Oven is set at 350 degrees. We're gonna bring this to a boil. The steaks are going back in here. We're gonna cover it with foil in the oven for 45 minutes. We're gonna cook up some uh, egg noodles. You can use mashed potatoes, rice, whatever you wanna use. We're gonna use some egg noodles, put the uh, steaks on top, and have an awesome lunch. I wish y'all could smell this. Show it. I see what we got. Here's the reveal. Oh, it's bubbling. <laughs> First thing I see is a bay leaf. Looky there. Now that looks good. A little secret. So we had a little too much meat left over to, to get in there. So I took it and uh, just put it in a, in a hot pan with a little bit of avocado oil and sear on both sides, put just a little additional seasoning on it. Oh my God, it was so good. I took some up to Deborah. She's upstairs working right now. It was awesome. So this should be even better. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Look at that. So we had some noodles cooked up or actually we just cooked them up. We didn't show it because uh, cooking noodles probably isn't too, too exciting. So uh, we've just got some egg noodles, put this on top. And that and that. I actually trying to think how I want to do this. I think we'll cut it up a little bit too, but yeah, well, that looks good. Okay, moment of truth. Just gonna get a little bit of everything in here. Super tender knife just slid right through. Get a mushroom, the tomato, and some pasta. Let's see what we got. Flavor bomb is absolutely loaded. This is so good. Really wasn't that hard to do. Took us about an hour to do and most of it was just sitting in the oven. So really wasn't that hard. Was it very hard for you, Eddie? <laughs> no, it was really, really good. You guys need to check this one out. Do it at home. Let us know if you tried it. Leave us a comment. Hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications.